Happy Box is here. I am so excited. This Be Happy Box is called the Bloom Baby Bloom Box. I love it. Hey there, gotta jump in for just a second. This is editing Ashley in my Snuggie. Um, if you don't have a Snuggie, I do recommend them. Anyways, that's not that's not what this is about. I actually called this the Bloom Baby Bloom Box, and it's actually called the Garden Be Happy Box. So I just wanted to clarify that because I did tell you the wrong name. So it's called the Garden Be Happy Box. Um, really quickly before we dive into this box, I want to go ahead and tell you that I do not have release date information, nor do I have price or any other information like that as of recording this video. But as soon as I have that information, I will have it um, in the description box and I'll also have a link to the Be Happy box. But make sure you are following the Happy Planner over on Instagram because they will make a post. They will update you on it and let you know that information. But let's go ahead and dive into this gorgeous Be Happy box. So it's the Bloom Baby Bloom box. And first, let's actually talk about the box. Look at how cute this one is. If you haven't guessed, it has to do with like gardening and um, florals and stuff like that. And I really do love the box. I mean, it's the goodies inside of the box that y'all are waiting on, right? You're like, hurry up, Ashley. All right, let's dive in. I will show it to you. So um, we open this box up. We have this gorgeous floral paper in here that just, just casually hides everything from you. And then we have all of these goodies. So I'm going to take everything out and then I'll show you one by one what's in here. So we can get the box out of the way. Oh, I'm hitting it on things. Okay, first things first. Here is the card. These little cards come with every Be Happy box that you get. And inside of here, it tells you everything that you get inside of the Be Happy box. And this one is good, y'all. This one is really, really, really good. So um, it shows you, like I said, everything that you get. Now, one thing I like to do is put the date that I received this on and then I put it in my memory keeper. So I remember when the Be Happy boxes come out and which one came out when so I like to do that I like to keep these you don't have to if you don't want to but I do love these little cards that come with it so first things first we have two die cut stickers we have plants our friends and bloom baby bloom how cute are those I love die cut stickers these ones are awesome next up we have a couple of these are page flags they come with 40 sheets so i'm assuming there's 20 and 20 inside of here we have the cute little flower pot up here and the watering can and then from there we have stickers this one is my garden in my happy place it has 836 pieces so let's go ahead and we're going to flip through this one i love the colors in here i've been on like a boho style kick and the colors in here are perfect for that so we have some cute box stickers up here look at the little watering cans i'm excited for this because we actually have a garden this year and i'm gonna, definitely going to be using these stickers um for that but even if you don't have a garden and you like flowers you have maybe some plants in your house this is still a great be happy box for you we open this up a little dirt never hurt look at the little chair the plants and stuff we have some gardening tools over here cute little circle stickers here we have today to do to buy today and to buy it says plant lady can't touch this and we have the cute little cactus this is a long sticker and it's dot grid this one has the lines this says reminder on both of those now this one says plant name. This is a great little tracker. So we have plant name and then it says watering, sunlight, fertilizer, temperatures, and pet friendly. And then over here we have these cute little flag stickers that have florals on them. So this is a great way to keep track of what your, um, what your plants need. And we have a couple of sheets of those. These ones here have the gold foiling on them. And then these ones are really long stickers. If you guys wanted to, you could put information about um, other plants that you have if you wanted to use these ones. We have reminder down here and then checklists up the center. These ones are to-do lists and you have the cute little gardening tools over here off the side. These ones say garden planning, seed shopping, get a soil test, soil prepping, amend soil, bed preparation, order seeds, start seedlings, plant seedlings, farmer's market, uh, visit nursery, 
direct sow seeds, planting day, fertilize and feed, and um, first harvest. Ooh, I'm excited for these ones, you guys. Um, and then over here, we have some more flag stickers that say like buy plants, time to harvest, pull weeds. So a great little way to track your gardening. And here we have um, habit trackers. So it says checking daily, stay consistent with, making it a habit. Um, and then it repeats itself. The center, they say start seedlings, plan the garden. Plan the garden. I thought it said plant. Plan the garden. Um, start seedlings and plan the garden. Then you have four little flag stickers down here. Next up, these are the same ones, but we have the washi sticker strips up the center. And those are very, very pretty. Ooh, we have some clear stickers. These have the gold foiling. Look at the little table. Oh my gosh. Bloom, baby, bloom. Cute little flower. Sorry, I have plants this weekend. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, look at these ones. You guys, I love decorative stickers. I'm so excited that these have decorative stickers here. We have candles and flower pots. Oh, a clock, rainbows, a shelf, a little chair. Look how cute that little chair is up there. We have some more clear stickers. You grow, girl. <laughs> Can't touch this. Home is where my plants are. Oh, you guys, I haven't fully looked through this. I kind of just did a quick little flip through. Okay, these are cute. These are very, very cute. I'm definitely gonna be gonna be using oh look at these ones. I'm definitely gonna be using these inside of my uh, garden planner that I have. So we have to do you have the pruning shears, scissors, and the cute little shovels. Um take a day off, daily gratitude, play in the dirt, soak up the sun, harvest time, garden party, and plant dreams. These are really, really cute. We've got some cute circle stickers here. It says, I'll be in the garden, meet me in the garden. We've got checklists at the center. And um, these ones say gardening journal. That's awesome. And over here you have like herbs, flowers, succulents, vegetables, annuals, and perennials. And then these ones say tending to today, remember, important. We've got up the center, there's like vegetables and stuff. So, and fruit. It looks like carrots and apples, there's pears. Um, cherries, I see corn, tomatoes, those look like lemons. And then these ones say harvest log. So you have the date over here, the crop and quantity. And then these ones have like different little gardening tools and things on them in that gold foiling. Very, very cute. Ooh, we have some more decorative box stickers. We've got some little sticker strips over here what you water grows. Ooh, okay. I love these kind of stickers. These are perfect for layering behind like these ones. So I'm really, really excited for those ones. Those are really, really cute. Oh, hello. Hello, we have boxes. I love it. So we have hexagons too, which I love. Um, so we have some cute little box stickers. We have more boxes. We can never have enough box stickers. Man, I love the colors here, you guys. Love, love, love. Look at these boxes. They got the little rain boots, the scissors. They've got a cactus on there. These say take note. And here we have some of the little clear icon stickers. These are in the gold foiling. And this one has like rain. Um, you have the plants on there. Time to water, the sh uh, scissors. Same here, but these ones are in black. You've got the... Um, sun and stuff as well. Okay, my sticker book is flipping onto things. Ooh, these ones are in gold foiling. These ones are the different fruits and vegetables. And then they're also here in black. So these are a little bit easier to see. We have more decorative stickers. Wow. I love this. I love the decorative stickers. We've definitely been needing more of these, so I'm really, really pumped for those ones. So that, my friends, is the amazing sticker book. Um, by the way, if you uh, want to get a Be Happy box, I'll tell you that in the past they've all sold out very, very quickly. So as soon as the Happy, Happy Planner posts their release date information, immediately set an alarm on your phone for like 10 to 15 minutes before just so you have time to get ready 
to order. So if like you're at work or something like that, you want to make sure you don't forget if you want to get this Be Happy box because I guarantee it will sell out. This is a really, really good box. So there's the stickers. And then next up, we have some fill paper, some note paper here. And the thing here says that it comes with 60 sheets. And so up here at the top, you have date, top priorities. This says listed out. And then over here, it says all the things. Down at the bottom, it says today's goal. And you've got the cute little florals up the side. And then on the back, it says bloom and grow. And that is dot grid on the back. And all the sheets are going to be the same in here. So there's the fill paper. And then we have a classic size undated planner. Um, I might be switching to this one for my garden planner. I was using a bullet journal, but I think I might just have to use this one because this one is so cute. All right, it says plant dreams and grow a happy life. It is on um, the, the gold plastic discs. We open it up and we're gonna cut this thing off of here. And the inside of this, I really like the inside of this cover like a cream colored and it's got little white specks on it. I don't even know if you guys can see with that lighting shining on it. Um, it's undated so it does come with the little stickers here that you can use on the tabs and then here it's got your vertical layout. Here's your cover, your name page on it. It says hello this happy planner belongs to. This one's really really cute and then we dive into your currently page and so you can put the month up here and it says focus for this month. You have notes. This one says holidays and birthdays. And we have plant lady. It's got the gold foiling. Here is your monthly section. And it looks like it's pretty neutral other than this little like swoosh of color up here at the top. That's what we're going to call it. That's the professional term is it's a swoosh of color. <laughs> but it's a really light pink. If you can see it up there. And then here, oh, hoo, 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 you guys. Okay, um, I'm really excited. I hadn't looked at this yet, so I'm really, really pumped. Um, we have garden projects. So it's got your top three. You've got your date. So over here looks like it's one of those, um, well, actually this has date, plant type, budget, and spent. So you can keep track of how much you're spending on your garden. That's really cool. We have notes and reminders. This up here says take care. So we have water, feed, and report or repot, sorry. So we have plant, and then you've got the days of the week over here. So then you know when you're watering them, feeding them, and if you need to repot them. You have a checklist over here. This says pest control this month. And so you can write out what you are gonna do for pest control. And if any of these categories don't work for you, seriously, take a sticker. Like if you don't do pest control, but you wanna use this as maybe goals for the week, each week, that'll help you um, reach your top three goals for the month. That you could put like a little box sticker over here and put weekly goals and then you could map out your weekly goals um so that one's really cool and then here is your weekly section and again it's undated so you don't have the dates up here you can start this one whenever we have to-do list over here you have a habit tracker so we have watering sunlight fertilizer turn soil pull weeds and prune yes i am most definitely using this now officially as my garden planner you guys you guys heard it here i'm totally using this and then we have a vertical layout and how cute would this be to take photos of your garden if you are gardening or your plants in your house or whatever and um kind of use this as a memory keeper as well to see how your garden progresses throughout the, the season so there's your weekly pages and then it's going to switch from that light pink to this light blue color up here. Currently, page stays the same. Here is the next divider that we have. Here's your monthly section. Again, it's got the blue. So this is kind of like the monthly planner, but specific for gardening. And then on your weekly section, same thing. We've got the blue up there, and then this is in green. And so from there, it switches to a light gray color. A little dirt never hurts. Monthly is the same. So is this monthly section and then your weekly section. This is like a navy, like a darker navy blue. And then you've got the gray up there. And I bet from there it's going to switch back to pink. Yep. So then it switches back to pink. So it'll go pink, the blue, and the gray. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll just flip through the dividers. Love grows here. I love that little setup. Cute little florals and berries. 
plants are friends. We need a cart like that, don't we, in real life? That would be super cute. I love this one. That one's really, really cute. Love my jungle. <laughs> That's funny. Um, home is where my plants are. See, I could I could just vision myself sitting in this chair, like reading a book out on the deck, chilling out. Um, we have this cute one that's got your um, watering can and your plants on it. Plant a happy life. Did I skip one? Hold on a minute. No, okay. It felt like I skipped one. Um, plant a happy life. Got gold foiling again. And then it says, sorry, I have plants this weekend. <laughs> Which I can't get over that. And then you have notes and things. And every happy planner, the last page is always a notes page. And then here's your inside cover of the back. And there's the back cover on it. Oh, you guys. Oh, I'm genuinely excited for this. I love this entire box. It is so, 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 so good. But I am um, I'm definitely switching out of my bullet journal into this one for my gardening planner. And when I set this up, which will be very, very soon, I will film a video and I'll show you guys. So we'll set this up, set this up together. Okay, next up we have some discs. And I will most definitely be using these discs because I think those would look really really cute with this cover these ones the um, gold ones here look cute too but i really like this green it's like a marbly effect if you guys can see the marbling on there oh so cute and then we have some washi tape so let's check those out these this one here says plant lady we have this Really pretty color with the stripes. It's like a burnt orange kind of color. We've got some florals. We have some of this really like teal kind of blue. I don't really know the colors of these. Um, a little dirt never hurt. That one's cute. Oh, I love this one. Look at those florals on there. This one's got little plants on it. And then this one says plants are friends. Oh, you guys, the washi is so stinking good. And then last, but certainly not least, this is exciting as well. We have a tote bag and it says, bought any plants lately? <laughs> oh, I love it. You guys, there's so many uses for this, but I think for me, what I'm going to do, um, because I do have a garden is I'm, I'm literally going to put my garden supplies in here. Like my, um, gloves and things like that can go inside of here and then I can take them with me out to the garden. Oh, or you could put all your gardening, like your, um, my garden planner. Actually, that's a better idea. Ooh, I could put like my garden planner and stuff in here whenever I go out to the garden, if I'm taking pictures or anything and, or if I just want to sit out there and, and work in my journal or, or my garden planner, I could totally do that with this bag. Oh, this one's so stinking cute. So that is going to be the Be Happy box. Seriously, I'm not kidding. If you want to get it, make sure you set an alarm on your phone because I'm telling you this will definitely sell so, so fast. This is an amazing Be Happy box. It has a lot of things in it, which has me really, really excited. These stickers are the bomb. The planner is awesome. We have the die cut stickers. Oh, so stinking good. We have the discs. I love it so, so much. So again, I will put the um, release date information, but the Happy Planner is going to give that out first. So make sure you are following them over on Instagram. I have their account linked down below in the description box. I'm sure many of you are already following them, but in case you're new, um, you can definitely go follow them and get that information. And I got to give a huge shout out to the Happy Planner for sending me this. I am incredibly thankful. I am so excited for this box. They absolutely nailed it. I think it is awesome. So thank you to everybody over at the Happy Planner for getting this um, created and sending me one. I am incredibly grateful for it. All right, now you have to let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. Are you excited for this Be Happy box? Are you into gardening? Like, give me, give me all the details. I want to chat with you guys. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.